Welcome back here on the Thunder Report. I'm Jason Malz, and I'm joined with head coach Bruce Ramsey. Coach, coming off a, a good road trip this past week in Utah, are you happy with the results? Yeah, you know, with the struggles that the Wichita Thunder have had for years out in Utah, I guess to come out away with four to six points is uh, – is gratifying. And if you can win two out of three every weekend, you're putting yourself in a good position. But, uh, you know, obviously we have won the first two games, so it's a little disappointing that we didn't finish the route. But, uh, you know, Utah's got a really good hockey club. And, uh, you know, they obviously scored more goals than us on Sunday than we did. But, uh, you know, overall, I'd say it was a pretty, pretty gratifying weekend. What are you most pleased with so far at this point in the season? Uh, I like the character of our team. Um, they're resilient and, and tenacious. I think defensively we've been strong, but we've been getting obviously good goaltending, but we have a really good decor that are mobile, but uh, play a tough game as well. And you know everybody's kind of bought in for each other. So uh, this early success has been great, but it's a long season and we got a long ways to go. But, um, you know, I really like what uh, we have in that locker room right now. Now, you guys get back from Utah on Monday. You're getting ready for a Tulsa team that you haven't seen since opening night. Um, how, how do you prepare getting ready for this weekend? Yeah, well, I mean, I think the first thing was is make sure the guys got some good rest. Uh, I know that was a long road trip, a lot of hours on the bus, and then three games in two and a half days. So, uh, you know, Tuesday was an optional. We skated Wednesday, practiced Thursday, today. Um, but, you know, we, we got lots of video that we're going to watch and uh, we review every team five on five power play penalty and kill before every game. So the players have a lot of knowledge of what Tulsa is going to bring to the table. Uh, they got a very good hockey club. Uh, they got the one line that has been outstanding lately. And I believe one of the players was named player of the week, but they do uh, score, uh, you know, quite a bit uh, for their club exponentially. So I uh, definitely have to take note of the, those guys when they're on the ice and, um, you know, uh, we, we kind of know Tulsa's system's pretty good. They got the same coach and they've been there for, he's been there for a number of years. So but, uh, we'll still definitely do some review and, you know, we just got to come out and we've done a great job this year playing on the road and we have to continue that process. Head coach Bruce Ramsey joining us. Uh, coach Anthony Beauregard has been red hot as of late. What, what do you like from what you've seen out of his game? Ah, uh, he's a tenacious little guy. Um, uh, you know, he, he brings a lot to the table. He's got good skill, but he's got great vision. Um, you know, that definitely can skate, but uh, he sees, sees the ice really well and has really become a complete player for us, a right-handed shot centerman, uh, a little harder to find, so he's great for taking face-offs, but um, he's brought a complete game every night. And, you know, he gets his nose dirty. He's got a lot of sandpaper to him, so uh, he was a great pickup for us. And then in net, uh, Evan's been, sh uh, you know, sh putting the load on his shoulders for you, uh, you pick up a goalie this week. What can you tell us about Alex Sakelaropoulos and what he can do to help in net? Wow, Malzi, you said that really good. It's, <laughs> I'm still having a hard time with that last name. But, you know, Alex, uh, you know, he's played uh, as a number one goaltender the last couple of seasons. I think he played almost 40 games last year. Had a great year in Adirondack two years ago. Uh, he's big, moves well, uh, handles the puck well, and, um, you know, has played at this level before. So uh, he, he knows what to expect. And, you know, he's going to take a little bit to get up to speed, but, uh, you know, might have to get him in the lineup this weekend. As uh, you'll see, those three and threes are, are tough on bullies, and uh, especially when uh, you get that short turnaround on the Sunday game. So, you know, I was a little hard on uh, Evan last weekend, but uh, I'm sure Evan will get two out of three this weekend no matter what. And Alex could be in our lineup at some point. With that being said, do you have an update on Mitch Gillum and what his status is? Uh, yeah, Mitch is, uh, you know, he's, he's having some issue, lower body issues uh, that's going to probably take a lot longer than we expected. So uh, we will not foresee Mitch coming back in our lineup anytime soon. Head coach Bruce Ramsey joining us as you get ready for another three and three. And, you know, you look at the way your team is built, uh, you got to be pleased with the distribution and scoring as well throughout the, the three lines and the extra forwards that you have. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in order to win in this league, you can't just rely on one line. Um, you know, teams will shut that down. And if you don't have something to combat with the other lines, you're going to be in trouble. So, uh, you know, we, we lost obviously a, a lot of offense when the Toronto players all uh, went back to Toronto. And, 
you know, other guys have got opportunities to step up and, uh, you know, to take different roles and get more ice time and more opportunities. So and uh, definitely they need to take advantage of it. But, uh, you know, we really haven't fallen off the pace of the amount of goals we scored per game since those guys have left. And, uh, you know, we took two out of three in Allen and against Allen and then two out of three against Utah. So, you know, uh, obviously pleased because, you know, sometimes it goes the other way when you lose that, you know, crucial uh, character players that we had. But uh, other guys have definitely done, done a great job stepping up and contributing to the lineup. Well, good luck this weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon, okay? All right. Thanks, Mulsey. Thanks for That's having me on. Head coach Bruce Ramsey will take a timeout and come back, uh, hopefully with Jacob Graves here sometime either today or tomorrow. But that's been the Thunder Report. Thanks, buddy. You got it.